Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one truss problem to show how we can find the support reaction. So, it is a truss here with a different load acting on this truss. So, we see here 5 kN horizontal load is acting on this truss. And also there are two vertical loads of magnitude of 4 kN and 3 kN acting on this truss. So now, how to find out the support reaction for this truss? So there are two supports. One is A, is a hinge support, and one is B, which is a rotor support. So hinge support, it can take two vertical reactions. So it can take only two reactions. One is in vertical direction, R A Y, and one is in horizontal direction, R A X. Now, the other rotor support can only take the vertical reaction only because rotor support has the capability only to take the vertical direction it cannot take any kind of horizontal direction so there are dimensions of this truss are given to us so we will start the problem by taking the summation of moment at any point equal, equal to zero let's suppose we take the summation of moment at point a equal to zero and let's suppose clockwise moment is positive and the anti-clockwise moment is negative so we will start from all the loads and we will find the moment at point A at this point. So the first load that create the moment about point D is point A is this one, 5 kN. So it will be 5 kN is the force because moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So force is 5 kN multiplying with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance, is the distance from this point up to a point so this is this distance which is vertical which is 4 meter so it is in this direction so it produces the moments in clockwise direction about point a so that's why it's positive here it's positive again the load 4 kN produces the moment in this direction about point a which is also clockwise so again 4 kN is the force multiplying with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance between the force and the point where you want to find the moment so this is this distance which is from 4 to this it is 2 meter 2 and then again plus and then 3 kN is the load acting downwards so it also creates a moment about point A in the clockwise direction so 3 into moment arm moment arm is the distance from this point up to A which is 3 meter plus 2 meter which is 5 meter and also there is one force that creates a moment about point A which is this one RB which is acting in, a, in the anti-clockwise direction so it is minus RB multiplying with the moment arm. It is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. So total is 8 meter. Summation of all the moment about point A equal to 0. So we find out all the moments, all the forces that creates the moment about point A. So finding out all the moments, now we will find the support reaction simply by transferring this value to the right side. So we got 8 RB. If we add all this value, this one, this one, and this one, and we multiply, we got here 43. So our B comes out to be 43 divided by 8. We will shift this value to the right side. So we got here 43 divided by 8, we got here 5.37 kN. So it means our B support reaction acting here is 5.37 kN. Now, how to find out this RAY? For R A Y, we have to take summation of all the vertical forces equal to zero. So upward forces are positive and downward forces are negative. So upward forces, this is just our sign assumption. So upward forces is this one, R A Y is acting in upward direction plus R B is acting in upward direction. And downward forces are negative which is 4 kN and 3 kN. Summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero. This force 5 kN is not a vertical force, it is only a horizontal force. So we got we know our by is 5.37. So our ay. If we shift this all values into the right side, because these are known to us, so 4 plus 3 minus R B, which is 5.37. So we got R A Y equal to 1.625 kN. So we can write it here, RAY is equal to 1.625 kN acting in a per direction. 
So these are the vertical support reactions. Now how to find out the horizontal support reactions? This one, Rax. Similarly, we know that summation of horizontal force is equal to u, equal to zero by using the equilibrium equation. And all the horizontal force is equal to zero. So there is only one horizontal force that is acting in this direction. So this support reactions will have the same magnitude of five kilonewton. Why? Because there is no other support that distributes the load. So the 5 kN load is distributed or taken only by the one support reaction which will be Rx here. This support cannot take any horizontal reaction because it is a rotor support. Or we can write this equation summation of horizontal force is equal to 0. And let's suppose 5 kN minus Rx equal to 0. Because this sidewise forces are positive and this sidewise forces are negative. So this one 5 kN was acting in this direction, it was positive and the other was in another direction, so it is negative. So 5 minus Rx, so Rx, if we shift this into the right side, it becomes 5. So 5 kN is the support reaction at this point. Hope you guys understand how to find out the support reaction for a truss. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.